210,000 US dollars as well as over 500,000 Rand in daily prizes plus two BMW 220i luxury vehicles were once again up for grabs. The third annual PGA of South Africa World Club Pro-Am was hosted at the Durban Hilton and played across four championship courses in the exceptional Zulu Kingdom, KwaZulu Natal. With PGA professionals and amateurs from clubs across 10 countries, the competition would be fierce from the first tee box to the last putt. Heralded as the richest purse outside the tour circuit and sanctioned by the PGAs of Europe, the World Club Pro-Am is fast becoming the highlight event of the golf calendar. What we've done this year, we've changed the format just from pure alliance to a different format, so a pro would play with a, another pro from another club and an amateur, and the two amateurs would play with two other amateurs. I think it's good that it's a team event. You know, we are amateurs, we're playing with a pro, it's a pro who we know, we're comfortable around, so that makes it a lot of fun. Before the championship golf teed off, the golfers were hosted at the Oyster Box for a stylish opening and welcoming dinner. It's an honor for me to welcome you all uh, to the third World Club Pro-Am down here in KwaZulu Natal. You're going to find that playing these four fantastic golf courses over the next few days, unbelievably fantastic. This week is going to be tough. I think we're going to have worthy champions and winners at the end. And hopefully this event is going to grow bigger and bigger and it's going to become more and more competitive. I would like to just wish all the golfers the best of luck. and. Uh, May you have good weather for the next few days. Thank you very much. I know that these five days is going to be a test of golf. And you have to have patience. Try to stick to my game plan. Don't go for those funny flags. Just put the ball in play. Make pass. And that should be enough, I think. I think for me, the most important thing is not about winning. I'm just making friends. I've already made friends with these guys and I'm looking forward to making sure that the people that we're hosting have a good time. And obviously, if we win, it's a bonus. The first day was proudly hosted at the magnificent Zimbali Country Club, where the golfers were treated to beautiful natural fauna and flora, as well as the Tom Weisskopf designed championship course. Each day on challenging par threes across the four championship courses, two convertible BMW 220i's were up for grabs, one each for the professionals and the amateur golfers. Trying his hand at winning that SMG BMW convertible, from Benoni Lake Club, their pro Robert van Felsen. He's on the green, but that's not the hole-in-one he was looking for. Does leave him with a birdie attempt, pretty good effort, but he needs a little more on that, so he's left with a tap-in for par. Next to try his luck is Greg Upton from River Club. His tee shot is short of the green, so there's no BMW for Greg, but he's left with a chip into the pin, and he gets that pretty close. It leaves him with a par attempt, and he pushes that just right, so Greg will have to deal with a bogey. On the tee box now at Zimbali, State Mines amateur Bradley Richards, and he really loves that drive. Yes! From the green, Bradley drops the long distance putt and just look at the great team spirit from State Mines. Representing Germany's Project Golf Club, Peter Riedel chips off the green and he gets that close to the pin. Sinks the putt and the team looks on in appreciation. Their pro, Christoph Gunther, measures his putt and then confidently strokes it into the back of the cup. 
enjoying the sunshine we've met to, and got drawn with two wonderfully nice people who live here, so uh, we're just out to enjoy it. I think the course was really nicely set up, greens were running very well. The wind obviously did us uh, some favours, it was tough to play on some holes obviously, but two clubs, three clubs straight into the wind. But overall I think it was a beautiful sunny day and we couldn't ask for more. Fantastic golf course, in wonderful condition, fast greens, um, but always presented in fantastic condition. I know my guys are certainly looking forward to playing Cotswold Downs tomorrow in round two. Day one concluded with a host of South African teams atop the leaderboard, headed by Woodhill Country Club, while the pro leaderboard saw two times defending champ Hendrik Engedal from the Crete Golf Club taking an early lead. With KwaZulu-Natal's only season, summer, showing off once again, the golfers were transported inland for Championship Day 2 to the upmarket golf and lifestyle estate at Cotswold Downs. Wedgwood Country and Golf Club Pro Graham van der Nest from the middle of the fairway, and that's a great iron shot down the hill to the green. Graham's first putt is spot on line towards the cup, but it's just short, so he's left for a tap-in to complete the hole. Amateur Nas Hrobler from Reading Country Club with a big drive off the tee box. On the green, Nas's putt has just a little bit too much gas, he lips out and he's left with a tap-in. Here's Hensford Zama from Durban Country Club trying his luck at winning that BMW convertible from the lofted par 3 fifth hole. He has a great birdie attempt, but he's left with a tap into par the hole. Because it's beautiful, it's more easier than yesterday. Even greens, fairways, yeah, we're still maintaining it very well. The French club Chateau de Rere, represented by their pro Julien Gracia, he lands his iron safely on the green. His first putt is just left of the hole, so he's left with a simple tap-in. Mayerton Golf Club pro Johan Lombard's sand wedge out of the bunker is well past the pin. And that leaves him with a long putt back down to finish the hole. The leaderboard at the end of day two at Cotswold Downs again saw South African clubs leading the team competition, with Woodhill Country Club retaining first place, while the professional leaderboard saw Chateau de Rare's French pro Julien Gracier taking the overall lead with 77 individual Stableford points. Nestled along the Indian Ocean on the north coast, day three was hosted at the Prince's Grant Golf Estate. I think today can be a little bit better. I saw the wind is blowing, but it doesn't matter. All the golfers can be affecting from the wind. It depends on how you plan for the game. Professional Emmanuel Bolognese from the Italian club Royal Park Iroveri. Well placed in the middle of the fairway, his next shot is another great shot that ends up on the green. His first putt is pushed just right, so a tap in to start his day with a bogey five on the par four. Donny Mayers from the Reading Golf Club with a big drive. He chips up onto the green just past the pin and that leaves him with a long downhill putt to finish. And that's a great attempt Donny, nice putt. Vintook Country Club's Graham Williamson on this signature Prince's Grant par 5. More good iron shots from Graham and he's on the green. His putt heads down towards the hole and just drops in for a well-played par. Amateur Francois Stein from the Else Copper Leaf Club with his iron off the tee box. A good putt to finish with a par and that's celebrated by Francois. State Mines Henny Lamprecht testing the boundaries of the play it as it lies rule. My partner in the back there is uh, getting ready to get in the pond. Because he said to me, if I make eagle on 18, uh, he's going to get in there. So I made the putt, and uh, thanks for today. I think it wasn't that easy out there. There were a few tough pin placements. And Princess Grant is always the kind of course that can bite you if you hit a few wayward shots. 
greens are tricky to make putts. I found them very tricky. I hit the ball really nicely today, but I battled a bit to get the putts in. Yeah, overall, I think we did quite well. We're quite happy. There's a lot of movement on the team leaderboard after Prince's Grant, with the River Club now taking the lead from Woodhill and Germany's Project Golf joining the top five. On the professional leaderboard, French pro Julien Gracier retaining his lead from Germany's Christophe Gunther. Keeping the mind fresh away from the course is as important as keeping the body relaxed on it. The Rainbow Terrace at the Durban Hilton hosted the golfers for a fun-filled African shabine evening. Letting their hair down and enjoying each other's company was the order of the day as hilarious, talented South African comedian Aaron McElroy treated the golfers to a combination of two of his stage hits, the loser and the golfer. It's been awesome, you know, that's an unusual group of people, which is always for the entertainer, both exciting and also nerve-wracking because you don't know if people are going to understand a single word you say. But they were actually great. It would be lovely to be at one of these events when you weren't working and you could just really enjoy the event for what it is, you know. It just makes you feel so much better. At the end of the evening you walk away here and I think you're going to go and shoot lights out to the morning. It's fantastic. Durban Country Club, a course steeped in tradition and history and rated in the world's top 100, played host to the final two days of the competition. We're currently leading the World Club Pro-Am Championships. A lot of um, teams that are neck and neck, so there's only a few points that are separating like the top five teams. Even though it's only one point difference in it, we, we're at the top, so they say any play as well as you have to play. So one point will be to make the make or break. Representing Durban Country Club is professional Jason Bird, whose local knowledge sees him land his ball right next to the pin. An easy tap in for there for Jason, he starts with a birdie on the par four first. Amateur Slade Mansfield representing the Cotswold Downs Country Club. Nicely off the tee box with the iconic Moses Mabida arch in the background. His second is a solid putt towards the pin from off the green and Slade is left to tap in for a credible par. Representing Austria's golf club Stark Unsfelden, Arnold Gigleitner drives off the tee box. His next from a great fairway position lands off the green and rolls nicely towards the pin. But oh dear, Arnold pushing his putt just right of the cup, so he taps in to finish. From one of two teams representing Royal Harari Golf Club, Peter Lewin driving off the tee box. His next travels along the left edge of the fairway and comes to rest just off the green. So two more to finish there for Peter. First time for me to play in this course. It's a very tight and on either side of the fairways then you've got a push. And once your ball goes out there, that's it, you've lost it. And it only kind of punishes you and also it, uh, it, it kind of encourages you to try and hit straight. But I scored where I'm supposed to score. A couple of pars, I'm happy with my game today. German pro Christoph Guntner from Project Golf tries his hand at winning the BMW. But no luck for Gunther. He does, however, two putt to finish the hole and finishes with a solid par. Day four drew to a close with the German team Project Golf pushing past the South African clubs for the lead, while their pro Christoph Gunther pushed up the pro leaderboard as well. Overall lead was retained by Julien Gracier. I started off a little rough, but then pulled it together halfway through and then just try to maintain the, the flow. Well, the game plan tomorrow is amateurs on their own and, uh, and the professionals on their own, so we don't play together. But I think if you concentrate, uh, keep it on the fairway, hit the greens in regulation, you will do some good scoring. The final day's play was also hosted at the meticulous Durban Country Club, with the amateurs participating in their own individual Stableford competition, while the pros played out their fifth day of competition in the World Club Pro-Am. 
Mayerton's Johan Lombard on his first with a fluid swing and a big drive down the fairway. His second is to the right below a dune and he chips up and over onto the green. Par putt for Johan here, but he pushes that just right. You can see he's disappointed and he has to settle for the bogey. Amateur James de Gouveia from the Els Copperleaf Club on the fairway. That's a great shot between the two bunkers just short of the green. Great chip from James just past the pin. Unfortunately, it's another two putt to complete the hole. Professional Barry Bortmer from the Reading Country Club admires his tee shot. He's left with a long putt, confidently stroked, that's a great effort, well putted and celebrated by his three ball. Michael Dutoy, the pro from Royal Johannesburg and Kensington Golf Club, up on the tee box. His second is a great chip and that firmly lands him on the green. His putt is up the hill, it's just on the lip and he drops it. And that's enough to bring a smile to Michael's face. River Club's Greg Upton trying his luck to win that convertible BMW. On the green, but not the hole in one he was hoping for. Greg, two putts to complete the hole with a par and he appreciates the applause from the fellow golfers on the course. Last year's runner-up from the Vinto Country Club, professional Steve Basson with a big drive on the 18th. His ball rolling all the way onto the green. So this is an eagle attempt for Steve. It's a great effort, but just past the cup. Steve comes back and sinks his third for birdie and appreciation from the amateurs on the golf club balcony enjoying the final hole. Great camaraderie shown from all the golfers throughout the week. Mananga Swaziland's pro Keith Dubey with his drive up the 18th. He chips his second up just past the pin and that's a great shot. Kenneth is left with a relatively easy tap in for birdie on the last. Defending double champ Hendrik Engdahl with another consistent round and he salutes his fans and fellow members of the three ball. French pro Julien Gracier representing the Chateau de Ray Ray Golf Club in France safely on the 18th fairway. He chips his ball up onto the green for another great shot by the young pro. Project Golf's Christoph Gunther sinks his birdie putt on the 18th. Julien Gressier is left to confidently play the tournament's final shot as another birdie adds to his amazing week and the championship golf tournament draws to a close on the 18th at Durban Country Club. After a week of exhilarating golf across four of Durban's premier championship golf courses, warm KwaZulu-Natal hospitality and stylish entertainment, the only thing left to do was to announce the winners at a glittering five-star gala dinner held at Durban's ICC. The last few days, you've been privileged to play on some of South Africa's finest golf courses. A little bit too hot for some of you, maybe. <laughs> You know, in South Africa, we are very proud of our heritage in golf. Gary players won 169 tournaments. Now when you say 169, it's just like a number. But think about it, 169 times he's gone up to make a speech and collect the trophy. 
He is a genuine world legend. In fact, the only two golfers since the Second World War that you could say were better than Gary Player. And that is Jack Nicklaus and Tiger Woods. Uh, uh, Craig and, um, and Toy, you know, our partnership with you, we have seen the results in the provincial economy. We have seen the spend um, uh, that in fact has been able to accrue because of this particular partnership. You played hard and played fair. Take pride in your participation and support of the greatest game on earth. The end result will soon become obvious. Just hang on on your seats. One shot was the difference between first and second after an entire week of golf. The team from Durban Country Club. Oh. A score of 331. The winners of the 2016 World Club Pro-Am. Project Golf. Ladies and gentlemen, the professional winner of the World Cup Pro-Am in 2016 from the Chateau de Rouray Golf Club, Julian Grecia. I'm happy of my, of my game and it was a great pleasure to come South, to South Africa. Thanks to everybody and I hope to see you all next year. Thank you very much. It's been another great event, and we're so proud that it's held here in South Africa, in KwaZulu-Natal in Durban. I think I can safely say that for a lot of you, this is the best time you've ever had. And we want you to tell all your friends. You know, with our partnership with the PJs Europe, hopefully we can grow uh, more international entries in years to come. But the fact that it got to 21,000 PJ pros across 37 countries is great for KZN and for golf in general in South Africa. In my hand I hold a ball. It's white and dimpled and rather small. By its size I could not guess the awesome strength it does possess. But since I fell beneath its spell, I've wandered through the fires of hell. My life has not been quite the same since I chose to play this stupid game. It rules my mind for hours on end, a fortune it has made me spend. It promises me a thing called pie if only I could hit it straight or far. To master such a tiny ball should not be very hard at all. But my desires the ball refuses and does exactly as it chooses. It hooks and slices and dribbles and dies and sometimes disappears before my eyes. And with miles of grass on which to land, it finds a tiny patch of sand. It's made me whimper to ease my sorrow but that ball knows I'll be back tomorrow. First time I've played this prime, absolutely love it. I'll, I'll definitely be back, it's a fantastic event. Meeting overseas players, meeting guys that, from all over the country and just getting out here and playing together. It's a wonderful opportunity uh, to get to know the pros as well and they give you a lot of, of good advice and they help you with your game, obviously. Peter and me have come all the way from Germany to play here in Durban. And, uh... and me, I come all the way from France. Yeah, 43 years ago. <laughs> <laughs> well, for me, it's a great experience. I'm sure everybody who participate in this tournament, they're enjoying themselves. I've learned a lot about patience um, and to keep calm and to just go out and relax and enjoy the game. Thank you to everyone who participated in this great event. We look forward to welcoming more and more international and local teams to the Zulu Kingdom in 2017 for the fourth annual PGA of South Africa World Club Pro-Am, once again sanctioned by the PGAs of Europe and proudly hosted in KwaZulu-Natal. Exceptional.
A huge thank you to all the sponsors and partners who helped make this South Africa's premier Pro-Am golf tournament. Log on to www.worldclubproam.com for details of the 2017 tournament.